Bismarck. Bismarck, my boy. Bismarck is the the space whale with the mostest. Sin ain't got shit. <laughs> I love it. I love it, GM Custom. <clears throat> So uh, we got Bismarck here. He's a big whale. He's blue. He's he's pretty cool. Uh, he's got a lot of health though. Uh, fair defenses: twelve thousand defense and nineteen thousand resistance. Um, and it looks like he is either resistant or worse to everything except for thunder. So no uh, no neutral elements. Uh, I don't think we have seen a neutral element since ice on the. Uh, the fire boss. Let's see. Physical single target, black single target, black single target, black single target. Uh, really? Uh, physical AoE. Not AoE, water. Not AoE, water. Is it... Is it wrong for me to suggest that maybe you bring X-Death or Celeste to this fight and just exploit weakness with abilities um, to suck up all the fire, ice, and thunder damage because it's single target black and then have everybody in the, in the party wear water resistance to take care of the area of effect water? I mean, that seems like a fair, fair strategy if these, uh, these damage types are accurate. The Great White Whale is one of the most offensively dangerous Magicite bosses, as he spams AoE attacks non-stop. Yeah. Yeah. It would slow the fight down. It just definitely wouldn't be good for speed clearing, that's for sure. Um, but I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot when it comes out. We'll see what happens. Uh, and unlike his appears, Bismarck does not limit himself to just one, or in Sea Lion's case, two elements. He uses four. Uh, this makes it extremely difficult to wear elemental resistance gear, matching all of his uh, magical damage. You would need a Genghis armband and a minor, minor resist water resistance armor. Remember how I mentioned that? you got to erase that water vulnerability on the Genghis armlet. It is strongly recommended to take two healers to Bismarck, which limits your party co composition pretty harshly. Uh, Bismarck is resistant to all elements except for Thunder, which he carries a partial weakness to. Uh, as such, the focus of this guide is going to be on the various sources of Thunder damage and on targeting uh, Thunder damage relic and for cute current and future banners. Let's take a, take a look at the abilities. Uh, we have two hits of single target uh, magical Thunder damage on Chain Thundaga. Nothing to write home about, but it'll serve its purpose, as usual. Uh, next, Ixion. Um, no. Uh, Valley Garmanda strong um, and as long as you have it honed at R2 um, I don't think that's fair like not for like a regular clear but saying there's no way you'll have hon valley honed high enough for it to matter it's not totally true because if you're speed clearing then two turns using valley garmanda is usually a plenty with one other uh, one other ability slot in soul breaks um, thundering twin strike two hits of single target physical thunder damage why do you call it, keep calling it thunder? It's lightning. Thunder doesn't do any dent while well, it can hurt your ears. Uh, being limited to two hits is a be bit weak, but one of the best physical thunder characters has this as their best option. Uh, lightning dive, Dragoon 5. Uh, four hits of single target ranged physical thunder jump damage. Deals a lot of damage. Um, 
And unless you have a note, but unless you have a note airtime buff, it's a big annoyance to manage. Uh, what's going on, Ari? Uh, next up, we have Swiftbolt. Uh, Ninja makes Ninja Strikes Back with one hit of AoE piercing magical thunder damage. A ninja spamming this provides a steady high source of DPS, although you probably don't want to pin all your hopes on a ninja team here. That is that is true. Uh, Tempest Knight. This is a great ability for this. Uh, six hits of single target ranged physical thunder damage. Uh, deals a little more damage than Thundering Twin Strike and basically can't be capped against Bismarck, but it has a very limited user base, and many of those users are characters you're not going to want to bring uh, with you to this fight. Um, yeah, for the most part, but there are a couple that really, really could unleash the potential of that. Um, Laguna, I'm looking at you. Uh, the maintenance is just normal maintenance, uh, because we don't have, um, translated events coming up. Uh, next up, we have uh, Hell Thunder, or uh, not mentioned here would be the uh, Four Star Witch ability as well, which is the the fast cast version. Uh, we looked at this on the Ice Banner, or the Ice Page. Uh, six sets of single target uh, magical thunder damage. While I'll defend which spells in general, Bismarck has too much resistance to really make Hell Thunder very useful here. Uh, agreed. Um, Attach Thunder Soul Breaks. Uh, please don't use this <laughs> uh, for Desh's Soul Break. If you're using this, you're really desperate, and there are better options, like just waiting for a better Thunder Banner to come along. Uh, next up is Ancient Lightning, Desh's Burst Soul Break 2. This, on the other hand, is stellar. Uh, Desh has arguably the best uh, Magic Thunder BSB in the game. He gets Attached Thunder, Station Time Command, and after the first ca cast, a Quick Cast 4-Hit Command 1. I agree. Um, I don't think there's any other at least magical Thunder BSB that can co compare with this as far as damage output's concerned. Uh, next up we have Kane's BSB. Kane's BSB is very good if you want to go the expense of honing up a lightning dive form, which is fair. Um, it's expensive, but uh, I think that's an okay expense if this is uh, how you're able to effectively take down Bismarck. I say honing, up, honing it up despite its BSB having an Ether command, uh, I agree because the other command is severely reducing your DPS versus just having a better home lightning dive. Uh, that said, it's quite good if you go in all in it. All in on it. I, I definitely agree. Um, I think the other command is a bit of a crutch that hurts you, and uh, I'd rather spend the orbs than um, to hurt myself inside of a battle. Um, so, next up. Reno BSB. Uh, despite originally being a mage, Ren Reno's BSB here is pure physical. It includes an iterative command that hits more often as you use it more. The problem is that it uses a long time to ramp up, but you do have time to do so in the Magistite fights as long as you're not aiming for the 30 second speed clear. Uh, Reno can also abuse Tempest Knight pretty well with his BSB. He can, but uh, some people do it better. Uh, Raijin, another iterative, iterative command mechanic. Uh, Raijin doesn't deal any damage with his uh, iterator, but his payoff is like a gigantic robot which transforms into an equally gigantic match run <laughs> once you have it fully charged. Um, which is actually viable here. Uh, a lot of the concern with Raijin's BSB and its iterative mechanic is that it caps too easily at 100,000 damage at the end of for the payoff. But in Magicite Dungeons, you don't have that problem as much because you're unable... First of all, they have gigantic uh, defensive res uh, statistics, and you're unable to break them effectively with supports. Um, so... He is going to do a lot of damage in this fight. However, he is going to take a while to do it, so you won't be using him in um, in speed clears unless you have a lot of instacast to party available to you, which would allow him to iterate faster. Um, next up, we have Shantoto's BSB play rough. Uh, Shantoto has an extremely strong Thunder BSB. She lacks Desha's Stitch and Time command, which keeps her from being the best, uh, but her commands have three different elements. Don't care. Only care about the lightning. And uh, as always, half cast time compared to normal BSB commands are awesome. Uh, half mile BSB, yeah. Is that mentioned here? Half mile BSB is awesome. I really like it. Um, just it's free lightning damage while you're healing. It's just great. 
Uh, next up, Ash BSB, Dusk, Dusk's Degree. Ash used to be the best Thunder Mage around, but others have since stolen her crown. Hopefully not for too long. We're definitely due for a Final Fantasy XII event. Uh, she's still very good, though, as she doesn't suffer the Attach Element tax, uh, meaning her commands deal much higher damage per hit than other Attach Element BSBs. She also heals herself, which is convenient against the boss with uh, AoE attacks as, uh, as strong and as often as Bismarck does. Uh, Storm Porn, <laughs> why? why? Uh, Lightning's first... Um, I think it's probably, yeah, the original Attach Element Soul Break. And as it shows, because it's the only thing that g does grant Attach Thunder, um... The only thing it does is that. No damage, no buffs, nothing. Seriously, don't even consider using this. Please, God, no. Uh, Lightning Strike. Lightning's Super Soul Break 2. This is DNA's... Oops, sorry. Stormborn sucks. Here's a new Soul Break that's strictly better correction. Uh, it's usable if you have Lightning's BSB 2, uh, though she does have a better, uh, a better option for attached Thunder. Uh, worth noting that this is plus Thunder Armor. Uh, Army of One, Lightning's USB. This is Lightning's third attach of the Thunder Relic. She's kind of single-minded in that regard, but I mean, look at her name. Uh, and her X mode as well. Lightning's X mode gives her plus 30% attack and gives her Thunder God mode as long as she keeps uh, as long as she keeps using Lightning damage um, for one turn after dealing that Lightning damage. This is a very very good soul break if you have either Lightning's Burst Soul Break 2 or a couple honed <laughs> uh, Thundering Twin Strikes for her to use. Uh, agree. I would prefer if I have Lightning's USB uh, with her BSB 2 would be to have an Entrust uh, available in the fight so you're able to use both of them together. Um, and next up we have Scorpio Mil Miracle uh, Rafa's USB. Brand new as of the time of this writing, it was Rafa's USB. This is practically Papa Limo's Ley Lines with the additional effect of getting the caster attached thunder. Uh, opinions are split on how good this is. I'm on the side that it is very good. But if you have Rafa's BSB, it's probably worth feeding her enough Soul Break Gauge to entrust to keep both up. Agreed. Love both of them together. Uh, next up, we have the Imperil Thunder Soul Breaks. Uh, Rolling Memories, Desha's Super Soul Break. This does a little more than the standard Imperil uh, plus damage Super Soul Break, as it gives Desh a personal magic plus 30% buff. It's not the best, but it is the only magical Imper Imperil Thunder, which is, still blows my mind a bit, um, which makes it worth considering all on its own. Jumpstart, we have Sid from Final Fantasy IV Super Soul Break. Standard Imperil, uh, this is bad. Um... Uh, no, actually, it's okay. It's fine. Uh, standard Apparel plus damage Super Soul Break. Sid can use Tempest Snipe to take advantage of the Apparel, which is at least better than Bron can do. Truth. Uh, satellite Beam <laughs> from Barret. Uh, Apparel plus damage Soul Break. Use something else if you can. The damage on this is pretty pitiful. Uh, Split Laser, Laguna's BSP. This is actually a very high DPS option if you're willing to hone a Tempest Snipe up to a high level. I think if I if uh, Magicite Dungeons launched and I still had uh, a lack of uh, like viable lightning options, I would actually just if I had this in the bank, I would be like, okay, no, this is this can be it. Let's go on all in on Tempest Snipe, and I'd do it um, because this is a very very high DPS option for the fight. One of Laguna's commands gives him the next two Machinist abilities are Instacast, which means you can alternate that command, which is itself a Machinist ability, and Tempest Snipe for extremely rapid fire shooting goodness. Um, you better hone the shit out of that Tempest Snipe, but if you do, you're getting a very high damage option. Uh, next up. Oh. Yeah. No, I thought that that was off a little. It's not the only Magical Imperial Thunder. Uh, next up, we have Garnet's BSB2. Um... This doesn't cause any damage on entry, is that what you meant? But it is a magical option. Uh, but it does give a party attack and magic buff instead. If you don't ar don't already have that combo covered, this is an excellent option for the fight, and I agree. The commands are Healing Summon Toggle Command, a uh, single target up, a weaving toggling off, um, and a 4 to 5 hit command depending on whether Summon Mode is on. So you uh, activate Summon Mode and then uh, start grilling Bismarck with uh, 5 hit uh, Command 2s. Uh, very strong and versatile soul break. I like it. Uh, pinpoint. 
Fran's Super Soul Break, Stand Under Peril, uh, Damage Super Soul Break, and as mentioned earlier, Fran can't take, can't actually take advantage of the Imperil herself. Um, I recommend trying to find another option if possible. That's why I try to see her clear of this uh, when I can. Uh, I don't really, really care for this uh, Imperil Soul Break. Uh, next up, we have Focus Bolts from Lightning's BSB2. As expected, the lady named Lightning is the Queen of Thunder options. Her BSB2 has a standard Imperil plus damage emery, entry, but her commands have ninja cast time. This is a decent option by itself, and I agree, um, as well as her USB being a decent option by itself, uh, but goes up to extremely good if you have her USB or Super Soul Break 2 to pair with it with an Entruster, uh, and definitely with Legend Dive on top of that. Uh, next up, we have Thunder OSBs. Uh, Kane's Lance... Uh, no, Kane's OSB is not... Oh no, the Kane's Lance is the title of the OSB. The Relic itself is actually has nothing to do with the Lance, it is just armor. Uh, this is one of the worst OSBs for the fight, since you do not have the power... Uh, you do not have to power it up with repeated jump attacks, which reminder his BSB commands do not count for. This, I always found this to be a very strange statement, considering when we look at the... the spreadsheet, which I will always like ha hold as the highest priority, says differently here. And if there's any one that can provide confirmation on that, Kane's OSB says damage increases with a Dragoon abilities used range jump attack. That is not jump attacks. Dragoon abilities is completely different, and his BSB does do Dragoon abilities, so they would help increase the multiplier. Um, so that is conflicting, and um, I would trust this more than the guide. Uh, that said, you only need three jumps prior to using the USB to exceed standard. And I... And a expending a full R3 lightning dive ahead of time will bring it up to 1336 potency, or 13.36. Uh, up to you whether uh, you think that's worthwhile or not. Uh, I mean, it's an OSB, so it's it's kind of dumb regardless. However, um, at least it's an option, because Kane is thematically very lightning-based. And he gets even better uh, later in the Final Fantasy IV event. Uh, his USB is uh, very nice, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Sword Magic Appearance. Uh, Steiner's OSB makes another appearance. Uh, Steiner also has a weaker, unless condition is met, than stronger OSB, but it is much simpler as long as the enemy is weak to Thunder, which it is. Uh, Th Steiner's OSB will deal a 13.0 potency of damage. It seems like a much better option than Kane to me, uh, plus it works equally as well against Sea Lion and Fenrir. Uh, Thunder's Echo, Ash's OSB, Standard Mage OSB. Um, so it's pretty good. Thunderfall, Lightning's OSB. Of course, li uh, Lightning has a Thunder OSB. Um, anyway, her OSB, which normally kind of aligned, is actually decent against Bismarck. Lightning's OSB gimmick is that it grows powerful every time you use it. It, even breaks, it breaks even on total damage compared to the standard physical OSB at third use, but if you're going with the Entrust OSB spam strategy, you're going to be using this at least six times. That means you'll be hitting 13.5 uh, potency three plus times. Pretty good, although only if you're relying entirely on Lightning for your damage. Um, yeah, I agree with that. Um, if you want to Entrust, uh, you can try in and try to make that work. Uh, otherwise, it's just a finisher for the uh, the rest of the stuff that she has available to her. Well, I'm going to read chat for a second. Seems like there's a lot of activity going on there. Kane BSB commands are Dragoon. Yes, they are. Uh, Dirge, there's a third Lightning Imperil for Magic on Desh's USB. It's interesting. Okay, yeah. Um, that wasn't released when he made this guide. I'll go take a look at uh, at that banner once I am done Once I get to Thunder God. Uh, next up, we ha oh, we have Thunder God. Uh, Orlando's OSB lives up to its name. This is the strongest physical OSB of any element, uh, and it carries its own unique buff along with it. If you have this, you know how good it is, and you and if you don't, you probably still <laughs> know how good it is. Thunder God is, uh, on, his, uh, on his own is enough to win Biz the Bismarck fight for you. Agreed. Uh, you can just run in and trust strategy with Orlando OSB and go crazy. 
Yeah, that's what I thought, Ishii. Um, okay, so we're gonna transition to the Final Fantasy 3 event, the Refia Dash event. Um, who are ya? <laughs> the sub is all in gray because of uh, maintenance. There we go. On the second banner, we have uh, some Desh action going on with his USB. Uh, on a Gladius, of course. Everything's called a Gladius if it's doing lightning, right? 12. What's the 12? Uh, RS. Fuck. Uh, USSB. Storm of Duty. 10 single target lightning non-elemental. Uh, and Power Lightning and Party Quick Cast Magic 3. That's actually pretty good. I mean, that... It's really basic, really basic, but uh, everything that it does is stuff that you're looking for. And especially good is the fact that it's on Dash. Uh, you could absolutely run Dash with his USB and BSB uh, with an Entrust bot, and he could put out some serious, serious damage. I agree. It is tradition. I like it. Um, so, yeah, that's a, that's a good lightning option, I believe. Uh, next up, we have other notable Thunder Soul Breaks. We have Inarai, Matoya's Burst Soul Break. This is a tri-element Burst Soul Break with nothing special other than dealing an extra two hits on entry. Uh, there are much, much better options in almost every situation. In every situation. Uh, Tri-Disaster, Palom Burst Soul Break. Uh, this is Palom's improved version of Matoya's Burst Soul Break. Same tri-damage, same bonus, two hits uh, on entry. But he also power chains as long as he's hitting a vulnerability with his commands, uh, which rough, roughly leads to dealing double the damage. I don't know about that. You gotta take ATB and cast timing to consideration just because you're. Uh... And I believe ATB takes longer than cast time, so by reducing your cast time to zero, uh, you're not doubling your damage, but you're getting there. I'd say maybe like 75 to 80 percent. Um... Uh, next up, we have Death by Committee, Seifer's Super Soul Break 2. This isn't so notable for its damage as, is, as it is for being a Thunder Damage Super Soul Break, which also gives a Party Attack and Magic buff. Uh, probably not your first choice, but it's an option. Uh, Dagger of Resolve. Um, Garnet's BSB, two, BSB 1. Her original BSB is shit. I'm not even going to... Uh, the dagger's nice. The, the, rel the relic that it comes on is a plus lightning dagger, which is... Uh, really unique and awesome, and that's why we like this, and not anything that the burst actually does. <sighs> All right, um, BB BSB two. This is another competitor for best uh, Magic Thunder BSB. Why? Because it is a party buff. BB gives the party a Magic and Resistance buff. Uh, which does uh, conflict with Rafa's BSB. Just keep that in mind. Deals tri elemental damage and has a stitch in time command. This is actually better than an attach element BSB for damage if you aren't exceeding the various magic and buff stop caps. Plus, it benefits the entire party. The one downside is the stitch in, fi the stitch in time command is fire and elemental instead of fire ice thunder, so it's going to deal pretty low damage. Uh, good option. I like the party buff. Um, if you can take advantage of that party buff and you're not like. Uh, ruining the, the soft cap with your characters. I, re I like it a lot. Um, primordial Elements. Uh, Shantoto Super Soul Break. Try element uh, damage plus party buff. Not ideal like Seifer. Uh, worth it for a d uh, mage party if you're backed up in a corner with buff options. Uh, next up, Frightening Lightning. Uh, love every time someone casts this. Uh, no, it's the BSB that I like. Uh, the CSB, I believe, is still bugged. I don't know. I haven't heard it. Um, now available in Global. This is the Thunder Chain. Thunder is one of the easiest elements to run up the chain. Uh, between Hell Thunder, Tempest Knight, and all the quick instant casts, four hit via B BSB commands, um, available to the element. This is worth bringing Sh Shantoto all by itself. Agreed. Uh, Hero King, Delita. Oh, finally, we we get uh, a list that actually adds in Delita's USB. Uh, Delita BSB. Uh, Delita's quad element BSB works best best with his not quite released yet USB. While it lacks any attached elements and pearl elements, or any self buffs, it does have an innate plus 50% critical damage. If you can increase his critical hit rate, his commands are actually very strong. 
and that's what leads us to Hail to the King. In addition to dealing strong quad elemental damage, uh, Delita's USB gives him a fully stacking attack and resistance buff, and sets his crit rate to 50%. Which makes his next two actions and makes his next two actions instant. It's a very, very strong if you have his BSB and worth uh, dedicating an entruster to, because with these two together, he will be a very strong power, a uh, very strong source of elemental damage, and can do this to four elements, um, which is holy, fire, ice, and lightning. Uh, next up, we have Rafa's BSB. Uh, this is a final contender for the best. Magical Thunder BSB. Rafa has the same magic and resistance party buffs as Vivi, and the same stitch in time command. Well, not quite the same, at least hers does thunder damage. Oh god, he's got me saying it! It's lightning damage! But trades triumental versatility for having your primary damage command also heal the most injured party member. Uh, Rafa wins on utility, uh, Vivi wins on versatility, and Dash wins on pure lightning damage. Uh, we have Hell's Wrath which is uh, Malik's BSB, which is good outside of Magicite, but not, not terribly good here because it's uh, very dependent on its debuffing characteristic. Uh, Malik's BSB is unfortunately not as good as his sister's. He essentially has a worse Lightning Dark Elemental version of Fusion BSB. Uh, no instant cast entry and no resistance break command. He does have a two-hit AoE command, unlike Fusion, but that's not really relevant to our purposes here because um, while Bismarck is a whale, uh, he only does count as one target. Uh, Kamja Cooperation, Malik's USB. Uh, again, with Malik being the debuffer of the uh, the sibling duo, um, this is also not terribly good here, though the party magic link is kind of neat. Um, prepping for Bismarck. Let's look at the last banner that he gets to, and that is the Final Fantasy Tactics banner. ETA October 5th. Uh, which makes the next event the Final Fantasy 3 event, which does have the second banner dedicated to... Well, not dedicated, it's... It's like Cloud of Darkness stuff on there, and Dash. Um, so it is a... It's got good lightning stuff on it, but it's not completely dedicated to lightning. Uh, and the event after Final Fantasy 3 uh, ETA, October 19th, is Final Fantasy 15, which is definitely a lightning banner, because we have both Prompto and Aranea. And let me bring that up. We have Prompto with uh, lightning and Peril Lightning, Quick Cast 1 and gain Quick Cast 1 after using Machinist abilities for a short time. You I mean, he's just Tempest Knight bot, you know? Um, next up, Aranea, Overflow, uh, Lightning Dark, Increase Multiplier when, weakness in, or when attacking something with Weakness or Imperil. Uh, again, Lightning. Um, lightning on Elemental Burst, Enemy... Uh, that, that stinks. Uh, you probably wouldn't like that, but at least Prompo does have this for Magicite. Um, let me take a look at his burst commands, but e because even though you do have the attack and defense minus 50% here, I believe Prompto can stack uh, Imperial Lightning so so well, and it's uh, zero cast time, single target, uh, that this is still, e you can make up for the fact that this is here. We have Fast Fire, uh, Lightning on Elemental Range Physical, and Self Quick Cast Machinist 2. That's Fine. Okay, so it's not just uh, Tempest Snipe. I forgot about the new Machinist ability, which we're going to go and take a look at now. Jump start? Really? Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to comment on that because I don't want to get fucking salty on stream. <laughs> uh, I'm joking, but really, that is an awful name. What assholes. Uh, so Spark Offer is the ability that we're talking about here, um, with Prompto's ability to inflict a lot of imperil. Um, so it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but with his ability to quick cast and insta cast, I think it's instant, right? Ah, oh, wrong banner. Yeah, that's just quick cast here, and both on on his burst as well. Um, what he does is he just power stacks Imperial Lightning by himself. 
uh, which really helps out the entire team. So um, he's going to do decent damage by himself, but he's really just there to get that Imperil up to 60% where it belongs and uh, help out the rest of the team. Uh, and if you don't feel like just stacking Imperil with him like this, you can always use Tempest Snipe in instead, and that works uh, very well as a damage option. Uh, next up, we have Erineo's BSB, which is also Lightning and End Lightning. I mean, this is basically the the Lightning banner to end all Lightning banners, isn't it? Um, two times single target, no airtime. Four times single target, self dragoon damage, plus probably 9%, similar to Ricard's. So it's a Lightning version of Ricard. Uh, I definitely not as, uh, as pumped about Erinea. As I am prompto. It is four times, so that's nice. So I guess that's better than Kane. Though I th uh, Kane just comes back and takes the crown as Lightning Dragoon after he gets his USB uh, a few a, a few events after this. Um, next up, uh, third BSB on the banner, we have Noctis. Uh, yeah, Noctis' BSB is awesome. Just leave that at that. Uh, Eris' BSB is awesome. Aranea, start battle with Enlightening. That's okay. Gets Enlightening on her BSB. So all you're really getting with this, say you start the battle by using uh, Life Siphon up to her up to her BSB, all you're getting from this is uh, the increased 80% damage on the um, the entry. Um, so it's okay, but there's better people that can can make use of these Legend Materia. Prompto gets small chance to double cast Machinist abilities. Oh god. Prompto is... Prompto is winning my heart over. However, I will still be... Uh, I will probably be skipping this banner, unfortunately. Um, because... The Final Fantasy XV banner that comes before it is more to my tastes. Uh, at least it comes with Noctis's um, Party Instacast 1 Super Soul Break on it. Uh, and a second chance at Noctis's Legend Materia Relic. So maybe, I don't know, if I'm forced to go after it again, this could be a, a good place to pick it up. Um, Prompto. Oh yeah, we already did that. Prompto Autocrossbow. Starship. Enemy Hyper Break. Well, that's a good Super Soul Break. Okay, sure. Uh, Aranea Dragon Mail. Single Target Lightning. I have everything on this banner, except for... Knock this a couple things, just do Lightning Damage. Uh, Party Magic Blink. Yeah, sure, that's a, that's another good complimentary Super Soul Break. So this is a really good banner. Um, I'm just gonna be pooped on Final Fantasy XV after that 15 event, most likely. Um, I'll have to keep this banner in mind as I'm doing my 15 pulls on the Gladiolus banner. If I pull certain things and don't want to stop pulling, like, see this, if we notice there's no Gladiolus feature on this, um, if I pull, just say I pull Gladiolus things with my first pulls, I can say, okay, well I will, I will let this sit and carry the mithril I would have spent chasing Noctis and Eris things on that banner and bring them to this. I mean, that's a... That's going to be something that happens every now and then, and like I, I noted on the Cloud USB banner, where you can always just carry over and use that mithril for a higher level of power creep. Um, and I'd consider that. I think that's actually a, a good plan. So I'm glad I saw this. Uh, what's next? Is there anything else? We have Final Fantasy VIII. Nothing really lightning on there. Yeah, uh, Laguna's Ice and the other banner is Fire Lightning. Oh, I guess the second banner is Raijin, huh? Oh, yeah. Making me extend this, huh? I want Noctis and Eris things as well. Uh, so the first banner is that. The second banner however, is the Zelen Raijin banner, where Raijin gets an OSB, multiplier skills with the number of monk abilities used. He's fine. Kind of need his BSB for that to work out real well, but at least you have this. Um, 
I mean, this is all pretty good, decent stuff, you know? And again, uh, this is great. This is great that this shows up here. This is Laguna's BSB that we went over early. Your earlier is a very high damage uh, lightning burst, so uh, this is a good thing to uh, find on the Raijin banner. So it, it does actually have a decent theme going for it. Uh, oh wow, and now we have a third element thrown into the mix with uh, Fujin's BSB. This is a good legend material for Raijin. The faster you can iterate, the faster you can get out that detonate. Is it air, guys? Are you kidding? I guess it's because there's been so many crystal gloves lately. They feel that not a lot of people have air, guys, so they want to give Zell users a chance at this. Uh, I, I'm, I can, I can take that rationale. Uh, Rajan's pauldron. I, honestly, uh, the more banners this appears on, the better. And, and same thing with Fusion's jacket. This is one of those relics that's never going to get old. Um, you could have three of them already and still want more. Well, um. I, at least I do, and maybe I'm a little bit of a freak in that in that regard, but I feel that way, so go to hell. Um, Zell's USB Dragon Claws, uh, very important that this is the only uh, six-star native um, fist weapon in the entire game that has native, or all realm, plus fire damage. Uh, that's, that's pretty awesome for a lot of people. I think that is it. A Final Fantasy IV event. Holy shit, has Kane on it. Wow, more lightning. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, the first banner is a Kane's Sador banner. Uh, Kane's USB is actually extremely powerful. Uh... 10 single target lightning, non elemental jump damage, and lightning and self attack and defense plus 30%, and instant cast jumps for a period of time. This is really good. Um, just being able to instant cast jumps, I believe it is only for 15 seconds though, so you're, uh, and you, when you consider the fact that it, it does not remove the, the jump timer, um, it means unless you're playing at a higher speed, um, at best, you're only going to get three jumps out of this. However, that's still pretty good when you consider uh, the amount of damage that Lightning Dive puts out, especially within Lightning. So this is a good USB, good OSB. So we're on theme. We got Kane's B, we got a Kane's O, and we got Kane's U. Uh, but that's only, the only Lightning we got going on this banner. But it's still worth mentioning because Seodor, uh prominently features on this banner as well. And he's awesome. And so is Kane. So it's a pretty good banner. Uh, yeah, DNA is into lightning. So, all right, now we can start. Jesus, now we can start looking at this. Uh, past it, 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 and this is where we are. Small spark, great resolve warning. We keep coming back to this banner. Um, Steiner's OSB and VV's BSB2 are incredible for coverage, working excellently against half of the current Magicite bosses. Uh, Zidane's BSB2 is a touch win, but may not be the top choice for Golem. It's absolutely not the top, top choice. It's not even close. While BS, Steiner's BSB, LMR, and Super Soul Break work well against Sea Lion. Uh, this is a good uh, Magicite banner. Because of Steiner and VV's coverage. Uh, and they're, they excel versus Sea Lion because uh, they tend to angle towards um, fire damage, but yeah. Um, this is probably one of the better lightning banners. Uh, not because it's completely dedicated to lightning, like that disgusting Final Fantasy uh, 15 Prompto banner, <laughs> banner, but because it is um, it's focused so heavily on two elements and on three really good characters, uh, with lightning featured so heavily on the banner and rains. Uh, we all, we know what rains can do, uh, but many people don't really know what Jill can do. Uh, Jill Nabat from Final Fantasy XIII. Um, she's probably the best dark imperil in the game, which uh, is exactly the kind of thing that you want to see featured with rains. So this is a very focused banner on uh, high damage high damage output from uh, Final Fantasy XIII, 
and uh, from lightning damage and dark damage. Uh, so here, let's see what the summary says. The three lightning relics here work excellently in conjunction with each other. And I can tell you from experience that you can beat Bismarck with lightning USB, BSB2, and all Mars useful offerings. Well, yeah. Uh, and as a bonus, you get another chance at Reigns Bonkers BSB. His totally not bad at all OSB. It really isn't bad at all. It's pretty good. And Gilles, we're just going to stack that Imperial Tark to maximum BSB. Uh, and Reigns Imperial, holy super soul break, but I only listed that for completeness sake. It's probably not the Imperial you want to be breeding. Um, that is true. Uh, so this is an excellent banner. Okay, Faded Showdown, Awakening Power. Okay, we got Edges... Really? Edges uh, USB is the best water relic in the game, uh, but it also works quite well for Thunder. I guess so. Uh, if you have to use the dark version of the Blink Stacking Ninja skill, You'll have to use the dark version because Big Bismarck absorbs water and probably just use Swift Bolt as your ninja attack to trigger the chases, which means you won't take advantage of the super fast casting wild moon will normally give us. But the chasers are still devastatingly strong. Also on the banner is roses, yeah. I don't know, and I'm not not really feeling it. I I guess I'm not completely aware of where Edge is going, but the chases are water damage. And while Bismarck doesn't absorb those, he does resist them. I don't know. I guess, I mean, it's a it's a good excuse to use a ninja with Swift Bolt, I guess. Uh, so I guess he can do something here. Um, and it's I guess it's important to know. Only because of how good the banner is, because Rose's USB is just disgusting. Um, but uh, I'm not going to consider this uh, a terribly strong lightning banner. Because it really doesn't feature anything that's uh, all that strong at do doing lightning damage. Um, Faded Showdown, Awakening Power 2. Uh, another Kane banner, because uh, DNA loves Kane. Uh, this is a worse banner than Last of the Red Wings, unless you really want Cecil's USB instead of his OSB. Sure. I like his USB more than his OSB. Uh, Unyielding Sword Oath. Uh, this is the Final Fantasy Tactics event. We have uh, Rafa and Malik. Uh, Thunder Twin Powers activate form of everything on one banner. This is a this is an excellent banner. However, not so much for Magicite because it's so uh, heavily dedicated with Malik BSB and Malik USB and Milia Duel uh, towards debuffing uh, stat breaks. Um, while it is a very good banner uh, because Rafa is excellent against Bismarck. Um, it's a good banner overall, just uh, not 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 especially for Magicite. Um, the only clear, clear prize for Bismarck, though, is Rafa's BSB, of course. The rest are good supplemental relics, but won't be stealing the spotlight. Also on this banner, Emily deals attack destroying support, BSB, and her Imperial Earth, Earth Super Soul Break. Uh, Unyielding Sword Oath 2. Uh, Delita. Uh, definitely a much better banner for Magicite. Uh, Delita's USB-BSB combo are the highlights of Banner, but it also offers a good utility package between Ovelia's Heels, Shout, and Mustadio's DPS Break BSB. Not as attractive a uh, Banner for Bismarck as Banner 1. For Bismarck specifically, but... So this is more for Bismarck, this is more for Magicite in general because of Delita's element coverage. Um, but possibly a more attractive Banner overall depending on your Relic situation. Uh, so let's go over this and kind of figure out what we feel like the best banners to pull on for Lightning are. Uh, this one that is dropping in uh, approximately 10, 16 hours. Hmm, how about the banners that we went over before? Des I guess 15 just deserves consideration just because of how powerful uh, and focused upon lightning it is. And with um, the the rest of the banner dedicated to Noctis and Iris, who, because of their non elemental and healer nature, can also be effective in Magicite. So yeah, we're, we're going to say that Final Fantasy 15 Prompto banner, definitely. Um, 
I'm going to go check out that Final Fantasy 3 banner again. I want to see what else is on it other than Dash. Nope, and that's banner one. Cloud of Darkness. Dark Lightning, okay. Area Effect, Dark Lightning, and Dark, okay. Party Magic Resistance, okay, sure. Additionally cast Thunder. Uh, one AoE, so he's, she's got a lightning chase when using dark element damage. What? Cloud of Darkness, you are confused. Is there anything that we can use <laughs> with Cloud of Darkness that does both dark and lightning so we can trigger this chase and do lightning damage uh, while not being forced to use dark element? Oh yeah, we already knew they were difficult to... to uh, we... Did we? I thought they were difficulty 300. Hmm? Why would they be 220? Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, it's more of an RW. That makes sense, Shimra. I suppose uh, Cloud of Darkness has access to Witch. No, uh, I don't... No, I'm not gonna... No. I don't like, I don't want to pull that. I don't want to pull that. Dash USB, good. Cloud of Darkness BSB is actually good. Uh, Staff of the Magi, eh. Dash's Avenger, uh, definitely good. Ingus BSB, definitely good. Star Battle then Dark. That's actually good for her, because she doesn't get on Dark on her BSB, does she? She doesn't, that's that party Radiant Shield. So that, uh, that's kind of nice. That is kind of nice. Uh, Dash's Bracers... Mm. Yeah, I won't, I won't include this. It is a, it's an okay banner. Uh... Yeah. Okay. So yeah, uh, the one that's dropping technically today since it is 2.40 a.m. for me. I would consider this the best. how I feel when I look at the Final Fantasy 13 banner 2 Ari Senpai. Comments and conclusions. Physical Thunder BSBs are notably behind magical ones as far as power level goes. I don't think any of the physical BSBs compete with Rafa, VV, or Dash for headliner power on their own. That said, Lightning's USB and BSB2 combo is stellar, and Laguna's BSB plus Tempest Snipe combo is extremely deadly. And I will add my own note here and say that Prompto, uh, with both of the Lightning Machinist abilities, is also extremely deadly. Um, the best Thunder Relic in the game, though, is definitely Orlando's OSB. Yeah. Uh, it's all you need to beat Bismarck from a DPS standpoint. Just feed him a Soul Break Gauge with an Interest. Um, definitely a very boring way to get through the fight, but um, with him plus probably an another DPS with Entrust going, uh, you could probably one of the easier 30 second clears, I would, at least that's how it feels like it would be. Um, it's, it's up for the JP players to correct me on that. What is the link to the page you're looking at? Uh, which, I'll post it. Okay, um, it's a little hard to call a best banner for Thunder because there are very few with multiple primary DPS quality Thunder Relics on them. Uh, Last of the Red Wings 1 was good. Small Spark Great Resolve, good. Future gui Guided by the Brand 1 are probably your best bets, but you can see arguments for several other banners. Uh, bonus Thunder Damage Gear isn't all that hard to come by, uh, though it is certainly rarer than Holy or Dark. Uh, one sticky spot is Magical plus Thunder Weapons, but keep in mind that the Light Rod and Light Staff from the early, early Elite Dungeons are both plus Thunder Mage weapons, even if they aren't 5 star. If you can run with enough Mage buffs, they'll do the job just as well as a 5 star weapon could. Uh, physical plus Thunder weapons are much easier to find. Mo notably, Lightning's USB weapon is all Realms plus Thunder, uh, unlike most 6 star weapons. 
Also note here that uh, Kane's USB that appears on the Final Fantasy IV event that just dropped in Japan right now is a plus six, uh, or sorry, a six star native plus uh, lightning spear. Um, plus Thunder Armor is rarer than weapons, but most people who went in hard for the original Shout Banner have a Kaiser Shield or two hanging around. I don't. Sigh. Uh, and a few of the other Plus Thunder Relics have also appeared on Chase Banners. Uh, Raijin's Pauldrons appeared on the Fusion BSB Banner, and many other Fusion Banners. Uh, it appears in many places. Uh, Ash's Defiance, a little more rare, a lot more rare. Um, and definitely uh, holds the position as the only plus magic uh, lightning armor. And Etro's Embrace, the um, lightning's super soul break armor. Uh, there aren't many of them in absolute numbers, but I wager they're fairly well represented across the player base. I agree. Uh, lightning's Pauldrons, uh, Kaiser Shield, Etro's Embrace. There's a lot of them that have gone around, I'm sure. Whew. Okay, um, I have any comments on this? Uh, I will likely, my first, uh, attempt at this event will likely be me trying that little strategy I talked about when I first went over this with, uh, Celeste. If I have, if I get her, uh, BSB2, I will try Celeste, uh, with Thundering Twin Strike and try to absorb all of that with her BSB. And equip my entire team with uh, magic resist or water resistance, so we are at least protected protected against the water AoEs. And the other two slots would be Dash and Ash. Garnet has her dagger, and her staff is a boost while lightning weapon. Yep, those are the those are the two, I believe. Garnet is. Uh, Holds a, holds a monopoly on magical lightning weapons. Hey, L-Man, what's going on? Magic. Yep. Thunder Rod from four. That sounds like a generic, and it sounds old. Yeah, that's a generic. Whew. Uh, 132 on uh, Garnet Staff of Moon. And 119 on the Dagger Resolve. Yeah, Garnet holds all of the, at least the Soul Break ones. And we do have 105 Magic on the Thunder Rod from... Uh, Final Fantasy IV. Uh, yeah, Garnet uh, actually becomes a legitimate uh, attendee for the Bismarck fight as long as you've got her BSB2. <sighs> Any questions? on the uh, 